Pope Benedict XVI announced he will resign on February 28, the end of this month, because he no longer has the strength to fulfill the duties of his office. He is the first pontiff since the Middle Ages to take such a step. The 85-year-old Pope said he had noticed that his strength had deteriorated over recent months, and I quote, to the extent that I have had to recognize my incapacity to adequately fulfill the ministry entrusted to me. He says, and I quote, for this reason and well aware of the seriousness of this act with full freedom, I declare that I renounce the ministry of Bishop of Rome, successor of St. Peter. That's according to a statement from the Vatican. Pope resignations are rare. Only a few popes have resigned in the history of the Roman Catholic Church. A pope is far more than chief executive of the worldwide church. For the Catholic faithful, he is the successor to St. Peter and Vicar of Christ on earth, who is expected to serve until death. Popes are elected by cardinals in a process the Church believes is guided by the Holy Spirit. Popes can resign or be deposed. However, such occurrences are so rare that the idea of a modern-day pontiff stepping down is hard to grasp. Past popes who quit served mostly in the Church's first millennium. Historians say Pope Celestine V resigned in 1294 shortly after taking the papal office. The last time pontiffs resigned or were deposed was during the Great Western Schism of the late 14th and early 15th centuries when three papal lines competed. The issue was raised again when Pope John Paul II became increasingly debilitated by Parkinson's disease. Still, John Paul stayed in the job until his death. One major worry is that if a pope retires, it could split the church into factions, with some Catholics following the former pontiff instead of the current man in the job. My Rodriguez, Solar News. Before he became the leader of about 1.2 billion Catholics around the world, Joseph Ratzinger, or Pope Benedict XVI, grew up in a family of modest means and witnessed the Nazi regime's harsh treatment of Catholics. My Rodriguez is back with this story. Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, the given name of Pope Benedict XVI, was born in Passau, Germany, on April 16, 1927. His father, a policeman, belonged to an old family of farmers from Lower Bavaria of modest economic resources. His mother was a daughter of artisans. Pope Benedict spent his childhood and adolescence in Traunstein, a small village near the Austrian border. His faith and the education received at home prepared him for the harsh experience of those years during which the Nazi regime pursued a hostile attitude towards the Catholic Church. The young Joseph saw how some Nazis beat the parish priest before the celebration of Mass. Fast forward to April 19, 2005, Ratzinger was elevated to the papacy upon the death of Pope John Paul II and celebrated his papal inauguration mass five days later. Known for his rigid views on Catholicism, he has sought a more inclusive image as Pope. My Rodriguez, Solar News. We now have on the line former ambassador to the Vatican, Henrietta de Villa. Good morning, Ambassador. Good morning, Jean. Good morning to all the listeners of Solar. So, ma'am, what's going to happen now? We're going to elect the Pope before March, uh, the news says, the news story says. Yes, uh, they will be calling. I'm sure that's why the Holy Father uh, mm. set the date of his stepping down on February 28th so that the motion for calling a conclave, the meeting of the College of Cardinals that will elect his successor, could already be in place by then. And the new word has it that one of the candidates is Manila Archbishop Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle. Ah, that has been my, my hope and my vision since he became bishop. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we never can discount the, the work of the Holy Spirit during such events as a conclave. No? So mm -hmm. uh, anybody who is eligible to vote and can, be, can also be voted on, can be voted as the next pope. So... Uh, let us not uh, put down our hopes that we can have the first Filipino Pope after this conclave. Ambassador, but then we always pray that the that the will of the God of the Spirit, the will of God, 
with what will prevail among all the cardinals. Ambassador, uh, the College of Cardinals, how do they select the Pope? Do they, do they uh, talk to each other? Do, do they consult well, each before, other? Before they are sequestered, before they are enclosed in uh, the Sistine Chapel, before they are made incomunicado to the world, oh, there will be a lot of discussions among them about this, as has happened before, no? because the Church, even we recognize it as the Church of God, it's also a human institution, and it's not exempt no, from mm -hmm. uh, uh, politics. No? There is also such a thing as politics in the Church. But then, as it happened before, uh, always in the end, there is a unanimity of choice. 